so I've been enjoying the iPod. Uh, my daughter got it for me, and uh, take all the discs and all the uh, music and put it in the computer, then put it on to here, and I've got all my music all in, right here. I travel around with it, and it's fantastic. It's just amazing, because so many songs. I put it on Scramble or whatever you call it, and it plays different one, you know, picks its own. It's fantastic. So having that piece of technology from Steve Jobs, Apple, computers, that has brought you from Rockport, which is this beautiful view of Rockport, Massachusetts, into the uh, 22nd century, <laughs> would you say? Yes. Uh, it's just an astonishing to me. It's all the, all the music right here. And you're good to go. And what you have playing now is on that? Oh, yes. And I go to other people's houses and get their music and put it in the computer. It goes like, goes in, then put it on here and I get more music and more music. It's just amazing. Great. And again, you're, what do you do for fun and the passion? Uh, I'm a magician and a juggler. And you've done your work around the... I've been all over the world. I've worked in Japan, I've worked in South America, I've worked in Europe, I've worked in Hawaii, all over the U.S. I do shows for children, uh, exciting shows for kids. Could you do me a favor, if it's possible, could you make that iPod disappear? <laughs> uh, not right now. Not right now, but you're working on it? Yeah, I could, Yeah, that could be done. That could be possible. Oh, sure. Other than putting it That's in your it. pocket? Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's smaller than a pack of cigarettes or anything that size, like it's smaller than a deck of cards. It could be, you know, disappeared very easily, you know.